Hello, we want to track our position of the train with OpenCV. We want some sort of marker on the train, so when the train is moving, we can track the train. It's quite nice if to have that. So I looked at OpenCV, looked at some of the examples in OpenCV, and a lot of the examples didn't work and didn't compile. But the ones I found were um, one one is color detection. This is color detection, so it looks a unique color in the field and can track that single color. So if you had two matching colors and it would get confused between which one's which, which is not good. So you want a unique color. Another one is the camshift algorithm which looks at the shape, but it's not very good. The camera one's better. All right, let's go through them. So we click here, we compile them. It took me ages to figure out this uh, C++ stuff um, with OpenCV. There's a lot of trickery. Anyway, this converts your image here to hue, saturation, and value. Now, this, this is similar to color detection, right? So it converts each color, so this is black, to black, and uh, this black, this black. It looks at these colors and then realizes that this black is similar, similar to the black here. Um, and this color here is similar to the color here. And there's a lot of similarities in color, and you can see the blue is different from the yellow there. So but there's not very, not many unique colors in this sort of field. Um, here is another color which is red on the outside and that's seeing that as white. There's no other white value so this is unique in the frame. If we get a yellow, now this yellow is similar to the hand, it's also similar to the here behind it so it's not the best. So in this, in this hmm, a HSV image, you can see which which colors are unique and which colors are not. Right, okay. And then you there's a sliding bar. Uh, so this is to show you the threshold. This is good for identifying which image, which color you want to define. And there's a sliding bar. Right. This is quite important. Now, let's say you want to detect this red, right? So you've got to slide these until red is the only color. And you slide these until... So right now you can see the logo here. Okay, so you've got to keep sliding these until... Oh, we missed it. Alright, so there's... You can see that. Got a vague outline. Ideally we want just this and everything else removed. So you've got to keep sliding these. It's a bit of trial and error to try and make it work. Okay, so wasn't that hard. Maybe I can do that. Alright, there we go. We got it. And there you see it. Tracking object. There's a bit of noise up there. What noise up there? I'm not sure. Why? Anyway, it's tracking the object because that's the only unique colour in the frame. And there we go, we can move around, it can give you coordinates. And it says tracking object, it's looking at the red value in that. If there was another red value, there's a red box behind me. So there's the red box, and it can get confused with that red box there. So we just out the frame, maybe we need to open up the cutting a bit more. So that red box. I'll move out of the way. That will be tracked. And when this is here, it's confused. Which one's red? Which one shall I track? Shall I track that one? Or shall I track this one? So there needs to be a unique colour in the frame. Now let's try it with this bottle cap. Now this bottle cap, you need to reset all the values. So the minimum goes back to zero, max goes back there, min there, max there, min there, and max there. And then you've got to do this, because it, but this is going to be tricky to find, because it's not unique in a frame. Uh, this is going to be tough one to find. Okay, so it's down here somewhere. Maybe we should start with this value. I'll start with something else. Okay. It's somewhere around here. See, that's my hand and there's this object. My hand and object are pretty much the same colour now. In this HSV frame. Oops. Alright, we've got the circle more or less, and let's try and filter out all the other stuff. 
Okay, we've got the circle, and oh, that's pretty unique in the frame. There we go. And there it says tracking object. Um, there you go, coordinates. Actually, pretty good. Uh, yeah, you need to be. It doesn't. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's alright. Sometimes it doesn't detect it. It might need more surface area. Because there's a threshold of how many. how big the object is, and they can't see it. So as long as that, uh, it's more or less okay. Actually, well, this is the best one I could find. And there's a bit of angle to it. So sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Can be tricky with such a small shape. Now the other one I found, let's stop that, is from the camshift algorithm. And there's the code from the GitHub page, and let's open it up and try it out. Okay, this again, this is some more sliders, but you don't need to touch the sliders. Alright, so there's me. And you click and drag on the shape you want to track. So let's say I want to track this, I track it. It's more of a shape algorithm. And it's drawing a circle around the item I want. It's great for circles. And look at that. It works. But look, my face is also a circle. And it got confused there, which is why there we go. Let's see, carry on tracking. And if we find similar shapes, for example, the train is a is a, is a square, and but so are the gantries. They're also squares, so that can be a bit confusing. And there we go. It's finding a lot of circles in this frame, and it's getting confused. Uh, try and find where that is. There you go. And then you have to keep retraining it, which is annoying. This is why I don't like this camshaft algorithm, because it eventually it starts forgetting what is tracked. And after a while, it's, it tracks the wrong thing. It's not tracking, I'm not sure what it's tracking now. It's not tracking whatever. I think it's tracking my hand now. See, it's not that good at tracking stuff. Let's try with the original. This. There we go. But when I pass it over my face, it stops working. You can see the histogram on the right. I'm not sure what's doing that, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. I didn't find this to be the best, I thought the cam shift was better. But it can be tricky when you've got multiple colors on the track, and this is more of a shape algorithm, but there's a lot of shapes on the track, but none of the shapes are unique. If you look at this shape, this is shape is pretty unique, and as long as it doesn't move around much, it did move around quite a bit, and it lost it. I didn't like the fact that it lost the, the shape. Instagram is a bit weird as well. I don't know why you keep changing. And you got this C, uh, C to stop tracking, B to switch to background view, H to sh show or hide uh, histogram. But these are the two methods I could find for object tracking with OpenCV.